Alright, so now we have our labels on our shapes. Let's go ahead and look at these line tools right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and click on our line tool. Now we're going to go up here, we're going to change our stroke to about 4, that way it matches everything. We're just going to go ahead and underline this little, oh, excuse me. We're just going to go ahead and underline this rectangle to our triangle. Kind of make it straight. There we go. I'm going to do that, something like that. Or what we could do, we could also find the midpoint of this right here, this area. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and cut this into two, like that. So we could go ahead and do that. Now we're going to go ahead and highlight our line tool and we're going to go over to this spiral tool. And we're going to create a spiral, spiral inside of our circle. So let's go ahead and just bring one up, click and drag, and as you can see it will give us this little spiral effect. And what we could do, we could also, you know, rotate it and scale it if we wanted to. So let's go ahead and rotate it just a little bit. Oh, move the circle. Make sure you move and highlight the things you want to move before you actually do anything. And if you do, it's okay. You just edit undo, you know? Okay, so let's go ahead. There's our circle. The spiral inside of our circle right there. Alright, now let's look at some other things we could do. We could do this grid. We could do this polar grid tool. So let's go ahead and do this grid for our rectangle. So we're going to go down here. Click and drag. And it'll give us a gridded rectangle, as you see right there. All right? There's also other things we could do. We could do this little arc thing we got going on here. We could do that. Or we could also do this little polar grid tool. No, oh, I haven't gotten out of my arc tool yet. Hold on. Go over here to our polar grid tool. Highlight that and select that. And as you can see, it'll give us this little... Blair Witch thing going on inside of this circle so it cuts it into five different triangles or little pies. Alright, we could also look at the shapes. We have this rounded rectangle tool we could use. That's what that looks like. Okay. We could also go ahead and delete that. We could also use, you know, pentagons and polygon tools. We could change the number of sides up there if we want to as well. Okay, so this is the polygon tool. And we could go to the star tool as well and create our own little star. We could change the number of sides by pushing the arrow keys if we wanted to. So let's go ahead and minimize this one holding down the shift key putting him right about there making him just a little bit bigger to give it more of a nice little effect right here we could go to object arrange send to back go ahead and click on that and I'll put all the lines behind all these other, you know, circles and squares that we triangles we got going on. So let's go ahead and select a fill color, maybe a light green or something. Something like that. Looks pretty decent. And we could do that. All right? So there's just a lot of things you could do inside of Illustrator just by messing with, you know, the presets and stuff. We also have this flare tool, and this gives us more of a 3D type effect as you see here, we have a little wireframe effect and that let me make a a larger one for you to have you get more of an idea of what's going on so what this does this actually is more like a lens flare type effect let's zoom in and as you see here it gives us this is actually rendered in 3D right here this little light thing right here 
and this gives us a nice little effect so we can go ahead and just plop that over here right by our circle I know we could do that as well and as you can see it gives us a nice little illuminosity effect we can go ahead and change the scale to it shift it down a little bit and there we go alright so that's these are tools you could use inside of Illustrator if you wanted to and that's how you go ahead and create a composition of you know grids and squares and star circles and text and stuff like that alright so let's go ahead and move on and talk about tools more in depth and go over the paintbrush tools and stuff like that